Hello, my name is Bimal Narayanan. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called as Metrix Healthcare Communications. We are located in Bangalore and have offices in uh, US, Dubai, Singapore, and in the Europe. Digital communication is a, is a new age media or new age forms of communication using the digital medium. As you would know, pharmaceutical industry is, is a highly regulated space which uh, where you will have the pharma companies talking to their customers. The primary customers are of course physicians and then the secondary customers are patients. So when we use the digital medium to reach out to them, the, the volume and the impact is huge. So especially in a, in a country like India, so where there is a huge need for good quality medical information and access to patients. We have smart, the usage of smartphones, we have smart usage of internet growing all the time. So, so this is the right time for us to, to harp on how we can use the digital medium to communicate medical information to, to our customers who are, who are doctors, eventually who can help their patients. Uh, the trend has been caught uh, in different parts of the globe already. So this has been happening uh, if, you, if you take some of the developed markets. So, so the digital channels are, are very well established there. The amount of internet usage by physicians is already, already touching 80-90% for medical information. Same is applicable for patients, it's, it's touching about 60-70%. So we will see uh, in India that this trend catches up soon. So it's imperative that we as, as a company would be able to build tools and solutions to address and catch this wave and support our customers and patients. Artificial intelligence is, uh, is, a, is a boon today, I would say, especially with regard to providing quality information to patients where there is a dearth of access to qualified healthcare providers. So if you take an example of, let's say, a disease area like infertility, uh, what, imagine an avatar or, or, a, or a bot or a coach who's available to talk to you about the disease in absolute privacy. The, the, the avatar is not going to judge you, the avatar is not going to tell uh, every, anybody about your disease, what's going to happen is you can ask any kind of question to the avatar and get your answers, get qualified responses. And then you can follow it up with a, with a physician visit or something that you would need based on an informed uh, process. The same thing can be applied to a variety of diseases. Let's say one of the other areas that I think it can be very useful is uh, psychological disorders. Let's say depression. Uh, it's, it's a highly understated disease. A lot of us could, could suffer from it. Again, if you have a coach, if you have an avatar whom you can talk to and uh, clarify various aspects about what you feel, what you go through, it would be a brilliant uh, solution, for example. So uh, I feel that artificial intelligence has a variety of applications in healthcare, not just in diagnosis, but also uh, being a companion to patients in multiple scenarios. The market is growing, uh, it's, it's uh, growing well. It's growing about 14 to 15%. And the digital pharma spend is in the area of $3 billion. And uh, we see uh, that there is a, there's a healthy growth and there are a lot of players coming up in this area and the future belongs to digital. The challenges typically is the fact that uh, pharmaceutical industry is a highly regulated uh, industry. So it's, it's, it's not like um, any other industry where you can communicate anything that you would like to your customers. So that's one of the fundamental challenge that the pharmaceutical industry has. The number two ch challenge that the pharmaceutical industry has is that it's been traditional. So if you see the detailing model, the rep model, all of these have been in place for several hundred years. So that to make that mind shift is one of the fundamental challenge, I would say. The number two is the legal and the regulatory hurdles that the industry offers in front of us. But these things have been taken care slowly, pharma is moving towards digital and um, there is more and more acceptance from the point of view of legal and regulatory hurdles as well. So Metrics is a, a company started uh, in the year 2012. Healthcare has been a passion for me uh, all through my life. I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for about 10 years prior to this and then I've been on this side of the table for about 10 years. So we started Metrics with a fundamental need that we have to do something significant for patients all over the world. So we have um, technology as, as a very interesting and, and uh, useful vehicle that can be used to provide uh, access, medical information, and support to millions of patients. 
the fundamental idea of the culture in metrics is uh, arises from this fact so we've been working with several of the 20 from top 20 pharmaceutical companies across the world and we have a we have a talented bunch of people across the world who whom we are very proud of and then we do passionate work at metrics the future uh, space that we are very very interested in metrics as of now is the use of artificial intelligence uh, to provide useful answers to uh, medical information and access to different people across the world so we are in the process of uh, developing some products on this area which can be used as as a as a, as a SaaS model or as a product for different types of diseases and we have already piloted uh, partnering with uh, a top five pharmaceutical company on this space and uh, we are looking forward to exciting results out of it so this is one area that we would be making a lot of investments we would be very excited about the prospects of how uh, AI can help patients across the world. Oh,